I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting multiple choice question on permutation and combination. Moving only to right and down, how many different paths are there from A to B? So that is the kind of diagram for you and these are four choices. Now let us see how to do such questions. So what we will do here is we'll break up into two parts. So we'll find the number of paths from A to, let's say this point, P, and then from P to B. All these paths from A to P will have option to go in different paths towards P, so they get multiplied, right? So let us see how many paths are there from A to P. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six different movements, right? So there are six uh, movements, let's see, and out of which three are right so we'll treat them as same and three are um, down so they are also same three are down and therefore that gives us six factorial divided by three factorial times three factorial now once you reach at p from p to b there are one two three four movements correct four paths or four movements Two right, two down. Now, it is two right, you can go from here also, one, two right, do you see that? Or two down, two down, anywhere. So these are kind of same movements. And therefore, the options here are four factorial divided by two factorial times two factorial. Total number of paths will be their product. That is the counting principles, correct? So our answer will be, 6 factorial over 3 factorial times 3 factorial times 4 factorial over 2 factorial 2 factorial correct so that is how you have to solve it so let's calculate you could simplify and then calculate you could do that or just straight away use your calculator so divide by 3 uh, factorial times 3 factorial I'll multiply by 2 factorial 2 factorial also I'm sorry we'll do 4 factorial times 6 factorial first so so we'll do uh, 6 factorial times 4 factorial and then we'll divide by 3 factorial times 3 factorial times 2 factorial times 2 factorial and that gives you the answer as 120. So 120 is the right choice. So that is how you can do such questions. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.